Guys, and welcome to another part in my analog DIY synthesizer tutorial project videos. Um, this is just basically an update to the front panel design, and a big shout and a big thank you to the guy subscribed like Sonic Three O Three for designing this front panel. Now, what this is is just basically a basic print, just to see how again, pretty much finalised. To tell you the truth. And just to see how um, well all the um, controls go together. Again, taking note of nice, nice finger whip, or should I say, nice hand space in between the controls. And as we can see, there we have it. It's pretty much block for block. All modulation controls are pretty much kept within the actual blocks, as we can see. And what is missing, the only thing we have missing from here is just our toggle switches, which will be sort of on off, as we can see on some controls or some to swap over between. If, say, for instance, we look at things like the, the filters, just to swap between um, LFOs. And what we have for these is going to be multi-turn switches and for the LFO shapes these are going to be the bigger knobs here and as we can see for the VCA level as well I think it else is pretty much the 20 mil 20 mil type um, potentiometer caps um, I think I've pretty much gone through most of this in another video before this is not going to be the final color by the way uh, the final color will look like so as we can see here this will be the final color not sure how much this will be to uh, sort of get this etched to, or should I say, laser, laser printed to metal. As we can see, we're going to go for a yellow and a blue, nice bright colour there. And this is just basically a, again, a prototype to see how well this will sit, um, sit and do what it's supposed to do, basically. Which I'm, to be honest, with you, I'm, I'm quite happy with. It's a shame I couldn't sort of find um, some. Which call it switches, which were basically push button switches with LEDs. That would have been quite cool as well. And the other thing I actually haven't actually uh, catered for here is actual um, LED cutouts, which again, it's something which can be put in. So that's not too, too, too final. So it's just going to be basically indicators for your LFO speeds and for the uh, LFOs in the chorus. As we can see, we've got different, we've got, oh, so we've got about one, two, three different LFOs for each VCO uh, pulse width rate and for pulse width modulation. And we've got the two main LFOs with, um, what do you call it, with the different wave shapes here. Some have already have pre-patched des destinations. What I'm kind of planning to do is make a patch panel to run along the top again so we can break out and take the different modulations to different destinations and obviously make it kind of semi-modular and a vibrato here we have a switch that we can change between the different vibrato shape we have a depth and a rate control and just a basic you know pretty much like the older mini mode glide control we can either have we can change the amount of that and as we can see ENV2 is our amplitude um, modulator and we have a polarity control for the um, envelope one which goes to quite a few destinations at the moment and we also have the LFO on the VCA for some amplitude modulation and a depth control as well so we kind of had two dips it's a little bit a bit of a strange setup we kind of have two depth we, we have a depth control from the LFO and we also have another depth control um, so for instance here we have we have uh sorry let's have a look at yeah if we look at vcf2 we also have another depth control so we kind of have two not sure why that was necessary but it is how it is and it, it works for me so all good if we just have a again another quick scan across and yeah there we're home nearly kind of home and dry as far as this uh uh, front panel design is concerned so just like I said just in having a little investigation into exactly uh, the switches and what I'm going to settle with and just to get hold of some multi-turn switches for the switching options for the filters for the filter modes not states modes and 
that is it. Alright guys, well yeah, um, I will be back for a few more tutorial videos in the future and catch you then. Take it nice and easy people and if you've got any uh, questions or comments please leave them in the uh, section, give us a thumbs up and yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. Anyway, take it nice and easy people.